Hello friends! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before we start, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon. Thanks! The Countess of Wessex The Royal Family's Secret Weapon Queen Elizabeth II's favorite daughter-in-law and a savvy peacemaker capable of smoothing the choppy waters between the Sussexes and the rest of the firm. There are no shortage of extraordinary claims that have been made about the royal. In the almost 24 years since she married Prince Edward, 58, Sophie has evolved from a PR girl into a respected and treasured member of the royal family, who found herself at the very heart of Her Majesty's inner circle. Indeed, Sophie even once referred to the Queen by a deeply personal nickname, Mama, in a speech. Mother to Lady Louise Windsor, 19, and James, Viscount Severn, 15, Sophie balances parenting responsibilities with official duties and charity work, a load which has only increased to the years since Prince Andrew and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had stepped back from royal life. And now King Charles also knows what importance she held to the monarchy. That is the very reason it is said that King Charles is expected to make amends with his younger brother, Prince Edward, and award him the title of Duke of Edinburgh following a change of heart. It has been revealed. Princess Charlotte VII was reportedly considered as the heir apparent for the title, which she would assume when she was old enough. Charles' younger brother viewed the decision as a slap in the face. But sources close to the royal family now claim the monarch could change his mind in his bid to heal royal wounds with his younger brother, possibly as early as March next year. A source close to Edward told the Daily Mail, it was a slap in the face, particularly when Edward has been such a help to Charles or the Andrew Farrago. Also because the Queen had promised him the title before she died, and it was always believed by Edward and Sophie that in time, the title would then be passed down to their son, Viscount Severn. Now it does look like the tide is turning. Clearly, the King has had time to reflect on the late Queen's wishes. One source told the Mail on Sunday that instead of giving the title to his son once Edward dies, the king might request that it go back to the crown. An unnamed source said, The problem is you can have a situation where in future, a senior title like Edinburgh, which is very important to the Union, is eventually held by someone far removed from the throne. King Charles and Prince Edward have reportedly been engaged in a row over the title since its former holder, the late Prince Philip, and the queen died. The title was long associated with the late Prince Philip, who was handed it before his wedding to the queen. But since the queen's death, there has been a lot of discussion over who will be the future Duke of Edinburgh. Being Philip's eldest son, then Prince Charles was the natural inheritor of the title after his father's death. But when his mother, Her Majesty the Queen died, Charles rose to the throne and lost the title. Edward appeared as next in line to take on the title. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please, share your personal opinion with us in the comments section below. Thank you.